Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here again with another Mind Reader game. Or actually, this is a very professional tool. Uh, this is well put together. The person was very serious about telepathy and mind reading. Um, it's called the Mind Reader. It's in this uh, black box. Um, Test your mind reading ability. Strengthen your powers of concentration. Contains guide booklet, diary, two playing boards, group score pads, two player score pad, and 54 cards. So it's very uh, simple here in terms of uh, what's in here. It's made, it's from Canada, and I can't find any particular um, date or copyright date on it. So, um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so because of that, I um, I don't exactly know. It's got to be at least twenty uh, years old. It's got to be made in the uh, in the nineties, I would think, uh, late nineties or so. So it's probably over <coughs> twenty years. So, but this person was very serious and made sure that uh, it emphasizes the fact of keeping records, which is important what you're doing, who you played with, um, so you can chart your progress. I mean, this is a skill. I keep telling everybody it's a pumping iron skill. Now, it has these neat little boxes here that says uh, receiver and sender and these particular boards. Now, those boxes are nice because you can put your cards in it to keep them separate. You don't want to mix sending or receive cards because if you do that, it'll be a mess every time you try and do it. So you can put your cards in there. The receiver has his own board here where you put particular types of layouts. Now, it's the same situation for the sender. The sender has its own little box and, of course, um, has its own little board here. And this is where you lay the different cards on. Now, the cards are um, slightly different than your traditional cards, um, your typical Zenner cards. Um, those there for now. I'm going to get these cards in front here. Take a look at them. Now both cards, both stacks of cards as I mentioned are the same, but they have different numbers and different ways of actually doing it. So let's uh, show you here double numbers. They have a little blue thing. There's an eight that's a single number, double numbers. They have these designs, arrows, question mark, numbers again. Uh, this is kind of a blank card. <coughs> You've got your typical circle, two, star. Um, not sure what you call. That's like an Indian symbol. Actually, I think that's a sun symbol. You've got two circles, and you've got whatever this is, quasi some sort of S with dots. So very interesting. And that's what you have. The backs are like that. Both stacks are identical. And... Um, pick them up here. They all got the back, the black on the back. <clears throat> so, you all are slightly different. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. I didn't see that one before, but these are all, yeah, they're identical. So, the whole idea with the blind, you, as you say, you keep them separate uh, so that you don't have problems when you're using this. Um, as I said, this is very much of a record keeping uh, that this person uh, uh, emphasizes in the process here. And that is the fact that um, they actually even give you a diary here that um, who you um, who you experimented with, uh, the, the scores and everything else. Uh, I've never seen this before. This is kind of nice. Um, and, you know, if you're serious, you should plot your actual um, successes, how you've done. You can go back and look um, months ago when you did it. I mean, it's all pretty cool to do that. And if you're serious, to plot your progress because these things improve with time. So as you do these things, you're going to find that, um, that you actually... Um, start to see a lot more progress. And did you have progress with a particular person? Did you find that that person was a little better? Um, maybe a better receiver, maybe a better sender. Um, 
you know, all that kind of stuff helps if you're really serious. And, you know, this is um, a very serious area. This is the uh, uh, higher level empowerments that we all can access, but it takes work. Um, so we go here and um, here's the introduction. I always like those, as I said. Talks about what you get. Said I always like to have people see these if they're interested in kind of reading them. tripod things are on so here is the actual uh, when you have here's samples um, uh, how to score the above um, so it shows you these are the actual boards with the cards that were on them that would have uh, been placed there how, here's how to use the scoring card which I'll show you um, the odds chart for scoring as well here very, very interesting and fun. Now, uh, here is the little brochure that comes with it. Shows you exactly what you get inside. You can see the different kind of cards, the diary, uh, the instruction booklet, what the inside of the box looks like. Again, here's all the different cards. Can you read someone's mind? Are you interested in testing your mind reading abilities? Would you like to practice mind reading? Then Mind Reader is for you. Mind Reader can help improve your concentration, a game for two people or a family or a party. Of course, you get a whole pad of these. This is the actual scoring again. That's the boards over here, and you can actually uh, score this, and it shows you how to do all that. As I said, this, that's all very boring and not interesting, just giving you a feel here. So you get a whole pad of that if you can find something like that. Um, as I said, these are very difficult to locate. Um, if anything ever becomes available, always check below this video. Uh, there, if the, we do find these, there'll be a link to get it, or you can uh, follow ours. We carry a lot of vintage training tools. We also have a lot of new tools as well. Um, so uh, it's always a good idea to go to our website and check our training tool pages. I mean, the key to empowerment is practice, practice, practice. Mind reading is a muscle. Plain and simple, you have to work the psychic muscle if you expect to be good psychically. It's not really um, shocking or strange. Is there anything you can do in life that you don't have to practice at? Well, not really. Everything is about practice, and uh, this is no difference. You've got atrophied energy fields in your all over your uh, centers of your body and your mind and other places, your chakra. Well, as long as these are atrophied, you're not going to produce good psychic results. It's as simple as that. So you have to get in there and you have to pump psychic iron. It's as simple as that. When people do this, they're surprised how things jump uh, in terms of their abilities. And that's why having a nice little diary is a good idea. Um, you know, look what you did two or three months ago. And remember the laws of practicing this types of uh, energy flows. And that is, um, you want to do all your practices at high energy levels, meaning you're psyched, you want to do it, you are not tired. You want to do it for a short period of time. Working with something like this, you shouldn't do more than five to ten minutes after you get everything set up. Um, because your energy burns out and then you will not be functioning well and you do not want to leave with a negative energy in your mind. The other thing to do is do it often. Set everything up, get it going, do it for 10 minutes, uh, then come back later and do it again for 10 minutes if at all possible. Um, so this, by doing that, uh, you uh, 
are at a high energy level and this will uh, enable your success. It's really as simple as that. So as usual, make sure you like uh, this particular video. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Many more to come.